Alright, so we're checking out the only game where if you don't have any friends, you can make some with the power of science. It's Universe Sandbox 2. This is the Earth. The Earth is the thought of the universe because it only has one friend, the moon. In our last episode, we saw that in 2029, we're going to have a giant asteroid that probably won't really do anything, but since it's Universe Sandbox, I can make it so that it ruins Florida Man's whole career. The asteroid could ruin everything. If the asteroid were to hit the Earth, there would be no more Natty Light. There would be no more Florida Man getting stabbed by Florida Woman with a freaking squirrel. And so today, we're gonna find out just what it takes to protect the Earth by giving it many, many friends. I don't know, maybe the Earth just became a millionaire too. That's a really good way of getting a bunch of friends. Over to the rings, damn it. Okay, so Saturn has rings uh, made of particulates, some of which are the size of a grain of sand and some of which apparently are the size of houses. But Gray, how do you know that? At Google, listen, it's not through education. I wanna see how many layers of rings it would take to protect the Earth from the 300 and... Shit. Okay, Google, how big is the asteroid that's coming in 2029? According to Wikipedia, the closest known approach of Apophis comes on April 13, 2029, when the asteroid comes to within a distance of around 31,000 kilometers from Earth's surface. Thanks for not answering my goddamn question. Okay, whatever, I just looked it up, 340 meters. All right, so anyway, how many rings of Saturn would it take to protect the Earth from a 340 meter asteroid? I will put so many rings in here that it will crash my computer if that's what it takes, damn it. Okay. So here we have five times the amount of stuff in Saturn's rings, but would it be enough to stop the asteroid of Florida man's end career thing? Really? The generated name for the asteroid that the game gave me was Hora? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep that. All right, 340 meters, moving 40,000 kilometers per hour versus five times Saturn's rings around the Earth. In retrospect, 340 meters isn't actually that big. So I don't even know if I'm gonna end up hitting this. I don't know if we have enough rings here or not. Sorry, South America. Okay, I'm testing this with a much bigger asteroid. I actually need to see if I can hit these rings at all. We're gonna need a lot more rings. Africa, I knew it. I hit Africa every freaking time. What do you know though? Australia's totally fine. Must be nice being on the bottom of the planet. Okay, we're not screwing around anymore. I've given Earth 25 times the amount of Saturn rings. They should be much easier to hit this time. Look at that. Getting thicker and everything. All right, Florida man's career, you got this baby. Come on, get those rings. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm doing wrong. Clearly, we're not shooting enough of these asteroids. Okay, the asteroids are starting to come into the ring area. I don't, I don't really think that the rings are doing anything yet. Never mind, stuff is starting to glow. Stuff is starting to explode. I, what the hell just happened there? Someone just shot off to the side. I'm not really sure what's happening right now. Okay, good news. Florida's still okay. The bad news is the other side of the planet isn't doing so well. This can only mean one thing. We really do not have enough rings yet. Okay. Earth with 50 times Saturn's freaking rings. In order to see if we can get anywhere at all, I decide to upgrade this to the friggin' moon. So at this point, the moon will now be traveling through all of the rings. The question is, can the ring stop the trajectory of the moon from crashing into the Earth? A ton of stuff is hitting the moon. It's not looking so good. It doesn't, it doesn't really look like these rings are stopping the moon at all. In fact, the moon just kind of slapped right through them. Oh God. So, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Uh, 50 times Saturn's rings actually stopped the moon from directly hitting the Earth. It just brushed by the Earth. The other thing that it did was made the rings look freaking awesome. This right here is what it's like when the rings of Saturn do acid. The question is, is the Earth saved? And the answer is yes. The temperature is the same, radius is the same, and the rings are actually leveling out. Well, sort of. The some of the rings are some of the rings are starting to get a little close. Little 
little, little too close to Earth. Not, not trying to be that good friends. Okay, some of the, some of the rings are starting to get way too close. I've got bad news. The rings decided they didn't want to be the Earth's friends anymore. So <laughs> now they've created this weird Hotel Eight logo. I think with enough rings of Saturn, we could protect against anything. But first, I need to try something else. You can create an entire sphere around the Earth made of moons. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Now that is protective. That... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Jesus, it's not amazing anymore. <laughs> well... That turned bad pretty quickly. So in the captain's log of testing, uh, you never want to make a ring out of moons, technically a sphere out of moons around the Earth. Uh, because everyone's gravity begins to interact with one another and what you get is uh, global annihilation. And right now a moon that has absorbed a ton of mass and is starting to become bigger than Earth. Just speeding things up here. Um, Cause I wanna see if Florida is still around. So all the oceans have been boiled away. So don't have to worry about the hurricane anymore. Okay, I think a huge part of our problem here with rings is a lot of these rings are weak ass rings, but luckily we can change the types of stuff in the rings. See this? Total mass, 1,000 kilograms, garbage. This is the new number I want. I hope that this doesn't immediately kill the Earth. I haven't really thought about it. Oh yeah, there we go. They're way bigger now. More, 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 yes. Uh, okay, I just did something by accident. I put a ring around a ring. <laughs> And the ring that I just put is way bigger than the ring that's already there. Actually, you know what? Uh, hold on one second. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Earth. How you doing? I hate you, Gray. Okay, when I click on this, we're gonna have 1,000 times the rings of Saturn around the Earth and all of the particles are going to weigh one million times more than normal. Here we go. Okay, we're getting two frames a second, but it still works. I need to try and shoot a moon through this and see if the hyper dense particles can stop the moon. Each particle weighs 50 million kilograms. All right, the moon's coming in. It looks like it's pretty much perfectly in line with our hyper-dense particles. Okay, the particles have begun smashing into the moon. Yeah, you like that moon? Yeah, beat that moon's ass. If anything, this should work pretty good. Because the mass of the particles is so heavy, you would think that it would, just so many of them would start moving the direction of the moon as it tries to impact the Earth just from the weight over and over again. Okay, the moon is still chopping its way through the rings. You can actually see the area where it has inserted itself through the rings and brought a whole bunch of them back in on themselves. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like our rings were not able to protect the earth. And now the earth is very, very sad. But uh, hey, on a side note, they look freaking cool. Okay. This should be able to protect the Earth. I've given the Earth 100 times Saturn rings, except all the particles are ultra dense moons. That is the mass of each moon. You think you're better than me, Moon? Let's see you get through this. The Earth just called in all of its favors, spent all of its money. It's got some kick ass armor now. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be perfect. Should be right in line. I, is it? Oh, okay, all right. I wasn't really sure if they were teleporting through the moon or what, but it looks like they are hitting it. Okay, I could already tell it's not gonna be enough. I'm making more Okay, we're beating the hell out of the moon. It's getting its ass kicked. I increased the mass even more at this point. Every single strike is like a tiny nuclear warhead repeatedly hitting the moon how the hell is it still in its path take that you pockmarked bastard 2 fps it's gonna 
it's gonna be close, but ah, the moon misses. <laughs> Screw you, moon. Uh, to be fair, it, I think it came close enough to the point where uh, it's causing some really bad stuff to happen to the Earth. <laughs> hey, Earth. How do you feel after all the experiments? Mr. Gray, I don't feel so good. And thus, the earth goes back from whence it came straight to hell. Okay, we're going to protect the earth. I don't care what it takes. I don't want to just knock asteroids off course. I want to obliterate them. So what we've done here is I've given earth the rings of Saturn, except the particles, each single particle, even as small as a grain of sand, has the mass of one billion Earths. I have no damn clue what it did to the game. Oh, it broke the game real good. I don't even know what happens if we add something inside of this. Like if I take another Earth and I launch it and I put it inside of this. What happens? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna launch it here. I mean, the ring is moving. It's working. It hasn't swallowed up the earth in the middle yet. Okay, so here we have the other earth, which is going to be our test asteroid. And again, I don't even know if it can interact with this ring or what. Something I just thought of, if every single particle of sand has the mass of one billion earths, wouldn't it create like a really crazy gravitational pull because of the mass? I think that the earth at the center of all this would be getting ripped in half. Uh, the, oh my God, what the hell? Okay. That's amazing. The Earth is now a violently pulsating star, I guess. What happens if I make time go faster? Does it just chill like this? Bye, Earth. I guess we made you go Super Saiyan, which is cool. You've got the glowing yellow hair now. Bye. What happens if you put another Earth next to this being that we've created? Uh, okay. I mean, it's orbiting it. The surface temperature isn't that bad yet. Oh, never mind. Eh, that ain't good. Well, we kind of protected the Earth by giving it rings of Saturn that had like one gajillion times the normal amount of mass as the rings would have. The negative side effect is that the Earth has become a new star. On the plus side though, it looks freaking awesome. Anyway folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.